Hey everybody, welcome to game two between Ash Do Life and Baya Agster. Baya Agster. I'm just going to call him Baya. Upper left hand corner, Do Life starting as again this wonderful color of green. Upper right hand corner, we have the Peach. Peach, I think. Baya as Protoss. Although it looks blue because of the beta art. With the, uh, I'm not sure I like this, the beta art with the shiny nexus, but whatever. This is on Shakura's Plateau. Speaking of maps that tend to generate interesting games, I feel like Shakura, well, Tau Cross makes interesting early games, like we saw right there. I feel like Shakura's Plateau makes really interesting mid games because oftentimes it's easy for Terran to go ahead and secure three bases, but then there's a lot of options for Protoss to do kind of that Arbiter play, do Reaver Harass, do uh, things like that in the mid game. Baya planting a pylon towards. His natural expansion it looks like he's thinking pot potentially oftentimes when you see this that is an indicator that we're going to see a 12 nexus rather than the interior pylon looks like we see a supply depot opposite corner so i'm curious if we are going to see the 12 nexus here we'll keep an eye on that the question is is when does do life decide to scout one thing with the 12 nexus well it looks like he's moving out in position to go ahead and plant that this is an interesting play here so he put the forward pylon down. Rather than building the gateway inside of his base, he's going to plant it down on the low ground. One, perhaps, to deal with vultures in the mid-game, where he's going to have a little bit more of a front door seal. However, this also makes him a little bit more vulnerable uh, to those factory contains. Keep in mind, because your gateways, think about it in the ZV whatever terms, is your units are right there on the front where they're being produced. This also makes zealots a little bit faster if they're going to get in your opponent's base. Comparatively, but this is a four-player map. I'm going to be curious to see whether we see Zealot first. Opposite corner, we do have that refinery going down. We have the barracks out front. Doesn't look like we're going to see 14 Nexus or anything along those lines. And Do Life starting to move that scout out. Let's see if it goes south or if it goes to the upper right-hand corner. Baya, unfortunately, is he, he is producing a Zealot first, to go, and he wants to get some harassment done. He's going to follow this up with an Assimilator. So I think he wants to get that initial zealot inside the base, either for scouting information, do that general harassment, and play the match from there. It's possible he just wants to go for... He's going for some sort of early aggression build, is what it comes down to. The probe... Do the probe and the SCV see each other? Probe and SCV see each other, so that now Baya knows, well, you would have known anyway, location. I like this! He's blocking the front door against that SCV to give the impression that he might be at this base. I'm not sure that Dulife saw that expansion coming in, so now... Do life might be thinking like, okay, this is he's located bottom left hand corner. Maybe? Okay, he's not being fooled by this. He's pulling off, he's continuing with that scout. There is a marine out on the front. Second marine being produced. This marine is in trouble because the zealot's gonna be right on top of him. Do life not responding very rapidly. Keep in mind, actually, this is gonna be a very laggy game between these two. Uh Do Life, I believe, is German. Uh Baya is Filipino. And so that's going to create a sufficient amount of lag. The Zealot wants to try to slow... Well, getting that kill and slowing that factory down, even a couple seconds, is absolutely huge. This is... Uh, and we do already see a proxy pylon here at the 12 o'clock location. So thinking of following this up with some sort of action in that regard, looks like we have three units on Assimilator. I'm wondering if this is just going to be a very, very, very fast uh, Reaver drop or uh, potentially even a, a Dark Templar drop. So the Zealot able to get another Marine here on the front. He, he's trying to delay this factory as long as possible. Oftentimes, that puts more pressure on... Uh, to get Dragoons. It looks like another Zealot has managed to get up into the SCV line. Already has an initial kill. Is three kills now. The Marines pulling off. It looks like they are. So the SCV's taking care of the Zealot in the main. Battle SCVs. Three Marines able to engage that second Zealot. Then another Zealot managing to get in. And it looks like popping a factory rather than going Vulture first. Wanted to make sure he has a Siege Tank for a potential follow-up. We do see a Citadel of a Dune actually proxy. So it looks like this is going to be, I believe, a Dark Templar follow-up. Potentially Dark Templar drops. And a lot of tech has been slowed down. Oftentimes when you see this sort of action, the threat is Dragoons getting inside your base. The Zealot has very little health. It's taken out almost immediately. This SCV is just sitting here, though, inside Dulife's base. Or, sorry, inside Baya's base. This initial, or sorry, not initial, this follow-up Zealot's coming in. I love this. Showing range being upgraded, but it is actually level 1 air weapons. It's a cheaper upgrade, and it just kind of gives the false impression that this is turning into a standard build. In the interim, Templar Archives... An additional gateway, so it is going. So I thought it might be a drop. It looks like it is just going to be a flood of Dark Templar coming out. However, Do Life is not missing a beat. He's got five Marines, a tank. It looks like he's going to do another, basically the same push that he did in game one. So this could either be victorious or disastrous, depending on the timing of this. And it is going to be thin. It is going to be very thin. 
because the Templar Archives is finishing just now. Mines are upgrading, so that is something to deal with those Dark Templar. But the Dark Templar should be in production momentarily as this attack force is moving out. So two Dark Templars, one of them, one of them is at the front. The Zealot, sorry, a Dragoon starting to move forward, so he's going to realize very rapidly that he's up against an attack force that is uh, bearing down on him. If one, if this Dark Templar to the north can sneak by and get inside Dulife's main, this could be a very interesting fight very, very rapidly. I'm not sure that this 12 o'clock base, none of that proxy text is getting scouted, but the Dark Templar can clear a lot out. The question is, is that Vulture and Mine follow up? So Dark Templar, yeah, I thought this was going to be the timing right there. I think he sees the Shimmer. He's backing off immediately. He's identifying it. Second Dark Templar making its way across. Vulture has planted a single mine. It looks like that Dark Templar is going to dodge that. In the meantime, the Dark Templar making short work of these Marines and perhaps that siege tank. This Dark Templar is going to eat a single mine as it pushes by. He's going to hit that second mine, so it's going to die before it manages to get inside. But what this does do is this gives by a... a degree of map control as those dark templar are a threat it looks like that barracks is going to scout this proxy tech to that 12 o'clock location and do life peeling back two vultures have managed to sneak out more dragoons being built natural expansion now being taken so a wild opener looks like they're also well they're going to be able to find this probe at that three o'clock location not sure Dark Templar, more Dark Templar eating mines as they're trying to sneak in. This is oftentimes why you see, rather than uh, two gateways, a robotic facility to kind of float all of this to really make that Dark Templar seeing that probe is getting wiped out. So things settling down a little bit. Robotics facility now up, observatory being built. The vulture is still able to sneak right by for do life. It looks like they are going to be able to get in the main, get some follow up probe kills. Baya actually sitting at 30 probes, and that count is rapidly dropping. So nice economic damage, plus some follow-up vultures. I like what Do Life has been doing with these vultures consistently. The probes trying to come off the line and deal with this, but they are just getting obliterated. So nice play from Do Life. First of all, threatening that natural expansion, getting all sorts of mines on top of these dragoons, forcing the dragoons to stay put, and then getting an, an immense, what was that, seven probe kills in the main? An immense amount of probe kills at the main. So nice follow-up. The dragoon just trying to block this front door. Really can't target fire with that barracks overhead. And actually, do life. I like this barracks in position. The zealot eating that mine, still blocking that front door, but Baya in a bit of trouble now. As he's just having to. Ooh, is he going to lose it there? And I think some the misfire buying him a little bit of time. The vultures again able to sneak out into the main, looking for a no no defense here for Baya against these vultures. And the vultures continuing to rain down destruction. Plus more coming. And it looks like with just a pure vulture counterattack, do life might take game two. A beautiful response, and I don't even want to call it a recovery. He just seemed like in control of this match. All the way across, more units flooding through. The mines taking out Dragoons as they're spawning. And it looks like Dulife has done it again in a very exciting second match. That's six probes left, five probes left, and that is it. And I got to say, Baez got to feel frustrated here. He had, an opportunity. he had a moment, it looked like, in this game where he might have been able to pull it out if he could just weave and dodge. Does give the GG well played. Fun match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to... So I still got some time to commentate here. So we'll move on to the winner's match. Where we will see uh, Do Life and uh, Sabbath. Should be a fun one. Thanks for listening.